Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Yeah. Um, I'm having a rough morning this morning. It's... I actually slept so hard. Y'all, it was light before I woke up. And you know that ain't like me. Yeah. <sighs> it's, uh... <sighs> it's yeah. a beautiful morning. I mean, it's overcast, but I like I don't know. They were calling for rain yesterday. It didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I think there's a chance of it today. But we all know how that works, right? Just you walk out and face gets wet. It's raining. If not, then hey, it's not raining. So uh, but temperature wise, a nice cool breeze coming through. I mean, of course, somebody says, oh, I'm cold, but I made it through the night with the windows open. Yeah, she went to close them, I think, yesterday or something. She's like, I need to close some of the windows. And I told her I was going to incapacitate a few fingers if she touched that little crank by the bedroom window. Yeah. But, no. no. It, was, it was, we were planning on possibly doing a coffee chat yesterday morning, but um, we had so much going on with bringing Dad home and everything. So, it wasn't one of those things where... It was a priority, so. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, we appreciate you guys obviously knowing that we're out of town, we're not on our regular schedule, and you all are still supporting. But the thoughts yeah. and prayers obviously have worked for Dad, because well, you can't see him, but we can, and he's enjoying his coffee and having the morning cigar and yeah. having a, a good day. and. I'm excited because I happen to know two very large packages of something, something in the fridge in there that one of them's getting open today and gonna be involved with breakfast. Yeah, my daddy needed a hookup. So somebody went and bought, I don't, what, how many pounds? It's heavy. They're, how much? 30 pounds. 30 pounds. So there's a discount grocery in town that he goes to and they, they specialize a lot of times in uh, for the meat department, but you got to buy it in bulk, which we're not opposed to because we like mm -hmm. to preserve it. But yeah, there was uh, they had 30 pound packages of bacon, right bacon, it's right bacon. and uh, it was like fifty dollars or something. So I mean, it was only three, three something. I think it was like three fifty. No, two fifty nine. No, no, three three fifty nine a, a pound. Which, for those of y'all out there that are trying to buy bacon and yeah. mortgage in your homes to be able to afford it, and you we understand just, we just that. And buying it, unless there was like a special occasion that we would buy the bacon for, because uh, I just couldn't bring myself to, to spend that. So, it's... Well, if, if you could tell your people, if I know they all wanted it, the only problem would be distributing it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go buy the whole <laughs> Well, if you're in East Tennessee, definitely reach out to me and... I'll get you that information, but we's gonna have bacon on the ridge because we got bacon. Yeah, we got lots and lots of bacon. And originally we had talked, it was like, okay, we'll go because they're $50 a package. So, hey, we'll split it. And well, we looked at it and I'll be darned if we didn't just come home with a package a piece. Mm -hmm. We left one package for some poor soul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah there, was, there was one package left and we came close to buying it, but it wasn't. There's a reason it was still there. So we went ahead and left that one, but the other mm -hmm. ones are pretty good, so. Yeah, yeah so today we're uh, not quite sure what we got on the agenda today. Um, got a lot we could do, it's what finally gets done. I'm still trying to get a video out on the main channel. Um, I worked on that until uh, Dad got back yesterday. So uh, that didn't get finished, but I'm, I'm working on that. So I possibly work on that today. And uh, still wanna see our friends, Deb and Len, and uh, my stepsister, Betsy, I believe is coming over this evening. Uh, just lots and lots of stuff. Uh, me and Aunt Kim are still working on all of our concoctions and tinctures and oils and lotions and all. Oh, yeah. They're playing in the weeds. But yeah, there's there's three kitchens inside and we've pretty much taken over one of the kitchens, pretty much the entire counter space. Um, with jars and jars and jars of uh, concoctions that we're making up and it's the coolest thing and the funnest thing and it's not hard at all and 
you know, the last several days I've been going down and picking violets because there's tons of wild violets. So of course, trying to figure out, you know, what can I make with these and, oh yeah, just super fun. Um, but I probably should go out and pick up some more wild violets today. We've been digging dandelion roots. It's, it's just been, ha <laughs> ha And he's just like, ah. Uh. But yeah, uh, lots of really cool things we're making. Um, hopefully when Aunt Kim gets back today, we can work on some of the lotions that, that we want to make up. And uh, yeah. What do you tell me when I start talking about technical? Wah, 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 wah. All right. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, they're playing in the weeds. I mean, we had to go quite a ways into Knoxville to find a place um, that had a really good frankincense, and uh, there wasn't much to choose from. There's literally like, I got the last bottle, the one bottle, and it was it was kind of pricey. Um, I think I paid twenty seven dollars for that one little thing of frankincense. I wanted to buy myrrh also, but I didn't. Um, and then there was two bottles, so we each bought one. <coughs> and uh, so definitely want to try out all of those little, we're gonna make an anti-aging cream and serum. I think they're still gonna get older. I don't think it's gonna work. Well, if it worked for us, or it'll work for me. Maybe. I don't know what I'm gonna do with her. I'll <laughs> send her out in the yard and pick weeds. I guess it saves on gas and lawnmower if they're out there picking them all. Just make sure they pick them at the same height so it looks good. Yeah, well, it, there wasn't as many wild violets yesterday as there was the day before because it wasn't sunny and it's not sunny today and I'm looking out there and I'm not seeing the purple waves that, that I saw, you know. Well, yeah. you better pick what you need because uh, it's about to discover a lawnmower. Mm, mm -hmm. yeah. I, was, I was thinking that yesterday. So, But yeah, lots of, lots of stuff uh, as well as, you know, continuing to uh, rehab dad and get him back to where he was and uh, just good times of fellowship. I know we sat out, I was actually up I think it was close to midnight before we went to bed, which that's late for me. I'm normally down way before that, but just good conversation and good fellowship and spending time with family. So uh, it's it's really nice. Yeah, and it's, uh, you know, of course we've got the time change, which, you know, is only an hour, but sometimes that <sighs> seems... Wacky. It seems a lot longer, you know, for us to be like, man, we're not up till midnight normally, but then we realize, well, that's only 11 o'clock our time. And oh, there's that. So, uh, you know, trying to run that through your head mentally sometimes just, you know, cause like last night or, you know, is when Big Mike and I from MT Homestead did our Sergeant's Talk TV and, uh, you know, it was, Normally it's eight o'clock central, which I mean it was still eight o'clock central, but you know I'm okay with it. But then I'm like, man, I gotta stay up till nine to still do this live, which luckily we were able to do. Um, we did, get, we did our, get our mobile internet. We got our mobile internet, and there was just too much going on Monday with Dad still being in the hospital and that kind of stuff for us to use the internet for her to do, you know, digging in the word on Mondays. And but, I just didn't, I didn't have, I had full intentions of doing. But we had an early morning yeah. and, you know, so the ladies, the ladies did great. And, mm -hmm. you know, obviously that's kind of the, the benefit of having multiple people on one, on one channel doing yeah. those is we can fill in for one another when we're out of pocket and. Cause we had been up, we'd set our alarms for 3 AM, which is 2 AM our time. And then we had been up all day and, yeah. you know, plus the, the, just the emotional drain of the day. Uh, I, I couldn't do it. I'd made the slides. We, I, I'd sent what I could and. Well, and this is, I mean, other than last summer, which we still didn't film a lot last summer, but this is our first trip where we're still trying to 
you know, spend our time with family. That's the priority. Mm. You know, YouTube is definitely low on the list when it comes. But we also know that we've got to maintain things. And we're trying to find what that looks like for us when we do get around family. Um, Because, one, I mean, it's still a little weird. And then they're weird because they're like, why are you guys talking to yourselves? And we're like, we're not. We're talking talking to all of our friends. You know, we've we've got the nation out there we're talking to. And they're like, so, you know, we're trying to keep them where they don't admit us in the asylum for having imaginary friends and stuff. So it's uh, it's fun, though. We're, you know, and I think uh, obviously we'd rather come here on more vacation time, but guys we've probably relaxed here more than we would on an actual vacation and it's weird but i feel more tired like yeah. you guys have seen me twice now in my glasses with no lipstick you know that ain't me oh man <laughs> i'm taking full advantage of being home and and but i mean i guess I, well yeah y'all get it but um you know just uh that and just not having the mental capacity to you know care about my lips i guess but yeah but it's uh it's going well it's green i don't know there's just something about being home yeah well we knew even last year like when she come over for aunt surgery like everything was green here and then she came home and it was still like brown and hadn't totally but i noticed that as we were leaving uh on friday last this last friday um, we had had a rain day or two before that, and it really started popping where, you know, spring's in full effect. And mm-hmm. uh, I know I've heard people talk about it, too, and I noticed it yesterday when I jumped to the truck that, yeah, the pollen's kicking. Oh, the allergies, for real. Like, I'm sneezing, coughing, watery eyes. That's why I, have, I haven't put my contacts in because it just is, adds an extra irritant. Um you know, to the allergy thing. And that's pretty standard and normal for me. Every time I come back here, I am affected by the allergies. So, yeah. Yeah, it does. It, I don't have that problem. So, <laughs> I just, I it see it I'm because waking up in the morning. Ah. yesterday I was really tempted because I I went to town and I'm like, man, I really need to run this truck through the car wash. And you know all the pollen and everything was on it but i'm like no it's gonna rain you know i'll let mother nature give me a truck wash and then it didn't rain and Mm -hmm. it looks like it's gonna rain today but i might just out of pure spite run to town and wash the truck because not gonna rain till saturday Saturday. see i'm gonna go wash the truck you all watch it'll end up raining well the reason he had to run to town was because um uh, Mama Bear and I were out uh, in the morning, yesterday morning, and we noticed kind of this uh, wetness going across the, the driveway on the hill. And she's like, is that leaking? And I look up there and sure enough, there was a like a sprinkler coming out of the hose supplying the nugget with water. And I'm like, crap, it is leaking. So she went and turned off the spigot and yeah we had a leak in our hose for the nugget and so yeah we needed water it's been a rough winter and spring on hoses on you know like we've we work them hard but i'm i we should be good i think that might have (coughs) been i think i've got one more hose back home that isn't a brand new hose uh other than that yeah i think we've replaced every single hose that we've owned in the last three months but But we're hard on them. But it was, I mean, the one that I had in the Nugget, because normally we're close, um, was a shorter hose, and it was one of our older ones. So I wasn't wasn't mad at the fact that I needed to go get, uh, because you guys know, we've got a lot of meetups and events coming up that... Speaking of which, we need to get the tires done. Yeah, I know. We totally forgot about the tires. You might have forgot. I'm well aware that the tires need done. (laughs) Um... We had priorities, which he's standing right. right over there that overrode going to get tires. But yeah, um, yeah, that's probably something I'm going to look at maybe today, honestly, is uh, trying to jack the camper up. I got to figure out how that's going to look. But <laughs> is it one tire trip? One tire no, trip? One tire trip? I think if we 
there are some concrete blocks behind the shop. Yeah, what I'm thinking is that if I just go ahead and jack up one side and pull those tires off and then set it back down on some blocks, we just, until I get back and have the tires on, you're gonna be banned from going in the camper. Okay. It probably should be okay, right? But I'm not gonna trust it. Do you guys hear the donkey? <laughs> Do we know what the donkey's name is? Hillary. 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 <laughs> and it's she, loud. Yeah, there's. She she gets a little sassy and loud every once in a while, and it's kind of funny because there it's time. It's really loud. I want to try. But I don't know how well the farmer will handle it. But, you know, you see these videos on Facebook all the time with people that have their pet donkeys. And they give them that rubber squeaky chicken. Oh, yeah. The her, her, and the her, her. donkey just goes nuts over that thing with excitement. And just, like, every one of them I've seen. So, I don't know if she would do that. Because, you know, she just she's out there to protect the cows. And, well, evidently she does a pretty good job. Yeah. She's been there for a hot minute. Yeah. Well, he named her Hillary. He's Republican. Oh, daddy. <laughs> oh, so I guess it's. Oh. It's a. Okay. Yeah. So it's not a female. No. He is ornery. Yeah. Yeah. And we still need to get some footage of what uh, y'all know as Toto, which is now Bandit, our little doggy from the ridge that tried to take out the chickens last year that we ended up bringing to Tennessee uh, for my parents. And. Um, he's, he, Bandit is a good name for him because that little <laughs> burger, he's gotten out twice. And when he goes, he goes, we're talking full on sprint. Although last night when he got out, he did come to me. Um, and I think he remembers us. So we need to get, yeah. but when we were out looking for, um, what yesterday or yeah, I think it was yesterday. I, I don't remember. My days are blending. Um, We'd come over here around the side of the house to try to go up the hill a little bit. And uh, lo and behold, there was this huge snake, uh, big old black snake, just making his way right across. And oh, yeah. And then Sasquatch was heard last night, too. Yeah, yeah, right. And, and it was because we were sitting out here and there was a cow uh, right next to the fence. It sounded like the cow was like right here and he was bellowing and bellowing, bellowing. And then Bandit started growling and some of the dogs were over here growling that way. And then I heard big rustling. Of course, it ain't Squatch over here. It's Skunk Ape. But I'm telling you, it's been I here. I can't take her anywhere, y'all. Mm -mm. No, no. I was going to do a video down at the bridge because um, to get onto my dad's hill there's uh, a bridge that he had to build and when the boys were little uh i don't even think i had jenna yet we were down here and the boys had come and gotten me and they're like mom 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 and there was a huge footprint down in the sandier part by the creek and yeah full on foot huge and it, it wasn't something that was like well, it, I guess it kind of, it's oregano. I was trying to see. I'm pretty sure she put Bailey's instead of half nah, and half nah. of that coffee this morning. No, Most the only, likely it was a black bear. Daddy, it was bigger than a black these, bear. Haunts, you know, I don't know. It was skunk ape because around that time, there were sightings in the county right north of us. And yeah newspaper articles and yeah so i'm no, pretty sure no no i'm i'm gonna be the first y'all wait tara from white rock homestead is gonna be the first i'll be on national Enquirer. you're gonna get abducted by one <laughs> yeah i mean it there's tons of sightings in this area so uh, i know what i saw my boys know what they saw and y'all ain't gonna change my mind. Don't put vodka in your Fruit Loops. It's oil of oregano. Mm-hmm. That's what she says, y'all. She's like, ooh, vacation mode. <laughs> nah, nah. No, I don't, I, I am not about those sweet yeah. coffees. I think the fun part was uh, kind of going back to when you were talking about with Bandit. Um, of course, you know, they had renamed them once they got here because it was 
you know, you, you got to have a fitting name, right? And they went with Bandit because he was trying to steal chickens, you know, being like a robber. But I well, think first honestly... Well, it was going to be Toto because we thought it was a girl. Right. And then, uh, so when they got here, you know, obviously we'd already figured out it was a boy. But it was like, hey, we're still going to be, you know, that could be a universal name. And then, um, you know, was like, well, Bandit because he was trying to steal the chickens. And then... But it, he's actually living to the name of Bandit, but it's not about stealing chickens. He switched, and he's like, I'm not no thief. I'm a race car driver, so now he's Smokey in the Bandit. and Yeah. Just getting it. He gets out, and man, he gets the zoomies. And they have a nice fenced-in yard that they go in, but of course he's, you know, curiosity, right? When just like a kid or anything, the dogs are no different. Hey, don't go in there. So where's the one place they always want to go? And hey, don't go out that door. Where's the one place you want to go? And, and he's sly. I mean, yeah. he's, he's fast, but uh, he remembered us. I know in my heart he did. He was just all about it and still real snuggly. And yeah, but I'll have to get him some or get him some camera time. We haven't filmed really well, Mr. much of anything. Mr. Needy Kims, but. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. I don't know. My mind's on that bacon still, y'all. I'm just ready to eat some bacon. Mm-hmm. I, I, I need to shower. And I got laundry yeah, to do. Probably. And got to do some domestics and uh, see where the day takes us. And Dad and I are going to work and do stuff. Yeah. At least just don't tell my wife we're out goofing off. Shh. It'll be our secret. Mm -hmm. See, she didn't hear a thing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we're we're gonna figure out what today looks like, guys. Uh, <sighs> as you know, we don't plan well, because uh, normally when you do, it doesn't work out, and so it's easier to not get upset about something not going your way when you don't even have a plan to begin with. And everything's going good on the ridge. Uh, Jenna's doing. Jenna and Jake are doing what they need to do back on the ridge. I'm excited. It's almost kind of be like a present. Because when you get home, seeing the plants. Yeah, after not being there for a week, I'm sure everything is probably quadrupled, if not more in size, plant-wise. And um, I do need to check the app for the irrigation. Look at the battery yeah, level, see, make sure yeah. that's good to go. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's definitely trying to absorb and, you know, enjoy the time here. Um, mm. But yeah, it's different when you're used to just going, 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 and then you come and, you know, I know the feeling because we do the same thing when people come visit the Ridge and they're like, hey, we want to do work, we want to do this. And they're like, why don't you guys just relax? And we're like, because we don't know how. And that's becoming more and more apparent um, <laughs> that we don't know how to relax well. And- But it's crazy because like, I, you know, the the exhaustion has been more mental and emotional than it's been physical because we're not working but i tell you what i am hurting more like physically hurting um you know legs back arms from doing nothing than yeah. than when we've put in a hard labor stay on the ridge uh so that's good enough for me and my brain to say i need to keep moving um yeah. doing something i mean the worst is like my shoulders hurting because I think it was I was all bent over, you know, picking violets. And I'm gonna be sore from picking violets. Like, see? No, that ain't cool. That's why I don't pick violets. Hmm. But. Yep. But we'll let y'all go and, uh, uh, yeah. I, my brain is. Words are hard. Words are hard. All right, guys, we appreciate all of you uh, for your thoughts and prayers for dad. They're um, working, keep them coming. For our trip. Um, and then just coming back and watching this and sharing it out, uh, you know, that's, it's the only way that it's going to get out to more people. And, um, and I do shameless plug or not, right guys, we had a testimony from a member yesterday, uh, last night on the Sergeant's Talk TV live. And if you haven't watched it, you didn't watch it last night, go over there and check that out. Um, and if you have any other veterans that, you know, they need a place to talk, chat, do all that. That's why Mike and I started that channel. And last night, uh, 
and I'm not going to tell you about it because I want you to go watch it, but yeah. it solidified the reason why we're doing that channel um, and, and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, as veterans ourselves, and we know that when we can get to talk to other veterans, it's much better. So, um, yeah, if you guys could go check that out, that would be awesome. Um, yeah, because we had one. You had one of our subscribers come up on. Here. Yeah, he's he's a big supporter of the entire community, <coughs> and just what an amazing story. Um, and just yeah, check it out, guys. But we appreciate you, and we'll, we'll catch you on the next one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys. Later.